Hello, Fix It Tony here. Uh, today I've got a furniture repair task. So I'm going to show you today uh, how you can repair your uh, furniture, uh, specifically your drawer glides. So I have these traditional vinyl coated uh, roller guides, um, roller glides for the drawers. Um, this is a solid cherry. Um, dresser and what happened is the bottom of this bracket broke off you can see one up there broke off and we got one over here that broke off uh, this dresser is about 17 years old uh, bought it new uh, soon after moving in and it looks like this particular drawer here yeah, you can sort of see. Yeah, it's, see how it's wobbly? Yeah, so that one's broken too. So we got several broken glides. Uh, I suspect these plastic glides uh, dried up and became brittle and just putting a little bit of weight, just uh, wear and tear. So uh, today's job is going to be to replace these. Uh, so the process is going to be basically removing these screws and pulling that glide out completely and removing these screws and kind of go from there. All right, we'll just sort of stay tuned and we'll watch it happen. Thank you. All right, so I'm using one of these Weira screwdrivers. It's kind of neat. You have this sort of hidden bit storage here and extension comes out like that. And uh, just a matter of twisting this off. Now, this can certainly be done quicker using a cordless drill. So, if you're so inclined. Let's take a look at this a little closer. I can see how this kind of broke off. What was supposed to happen is this fit nicely in there. But it looks like this might be the wrong size because as I pushed it in, there was a one, wanted to be a tendency to split open. And I wonder if it's because of the, see how there's a curvature there? And I wonder if that's the problem. This was a bad design or a bad product selection in the first place that is pre-conditioning um, this to break. You can see how it, this is, this is straight, but this has a curve to it. So I think this was eventually going to break no matter what. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Let's try and see what the new one looks like. My replacement brackets came from Home Depot. So let's take a look to see what makes this one different. So the front end right here is, near, is um, the same opening as the old one. But as you can see here, it sort of opens up, makes it a little wider. Whereas this particular style is the same distance all the way across. So I do believe the new one will fit better. Yeah, see that? Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, there's room for that crookedness or this little bend here uh, to kind of accommodate. And then this can go out as far as, I don't know how far out or how far in it's going to go. So that's going to be the interesting part. But I do have to locate this. So let's put this back together. First things first is I'm going to reattach the front. I need to make this level 
and pull this back. Okay, well, I may not have a choice. So here's my predicament. Um, so the bottom of that bracket is sitting on top of this board right here. And by doing that, knocks my drawer glide off level, actually creating a pitch back towards the front, which is not good because you don't want the drawer to open on its own. If anything, you want the drawer to make sure it stays shut. So I have to make this level, which means I have to drop the, this back down. So what I'm gonna have to do is modify this bracket. Okay, I'm back. I trimmed, actually what I ended up doing is I just used a pair of side cutters and I just nipped along the bottom. That was a lot quicker than having to go somewhere else, create dust and have to saw. So now I'm going to, interestingly, one of the screw holes from the original uh, bracket does line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall a screw. So it's still tilted towards the front. Now, part of me thinks that little bit of tilt might help keep the drawer open when you want it to stay open. But there is a little, that little, this little dip in the back should help keep the drawer shut. So I'm gonna take a gamble I'm gonna tighten that screw now where it's at, at the very lowest bottom. Now I do have to start a new hole. When I need is my handy dandy spring punch. This is a Sterrett uh, spring punch. And I'm going to take a look down the line here and call this pretty much true. And then mark this hole right here. There. I think four punches should do it. Like this, so you can still see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's much more stable. All right, now I've got the same problem on this side. You can see this little sucker also falling out. So same idea. I'll take this apart and get it ready. And when I come, when we come back, you'll see me wrapping up this side. This is about the same angle as the right side. I tested the drawer and there was a little bit of rubbing. I think this track was in a little bit too much. So what I did was I, I relocated my screw to the hole that's elongated horizontally to allow me to have more left to right adjustment uh, functions. And then I just adjusted this outward a little bit. So the other problem I'm having is the drawer was hitting right here, this little tab. Um, so I think I'm gonna, that's why I shoved this drawer a little bit more to, to, to the outside to see if that'll fix the rubbing. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some silicone grease, silicone grease to the bottom of the, of the rail and the top so and this is the underside of the right side so if i put a little bit of grease in there i'm hoping well, right here you can see if i put a little bit of grease 
in there what that'll do okay I'll do the same thing on the left side interestingly the underside of the left rail it doesn't show the same amount of wear so there must have been a little bit of imbalance so I applied a little bit of grease there too on both sides and we'll sort of see what happens let's put this drawer in there that's actually pretty good I'm happy with that there. yep I think the grease helped it and pushing that rail just a little bit out so that it rides parallel right that's what we really want to try to achieve and then it stays shut all right let's call this one done so thank you very much for watching this drawer rip, dresser drawer repair um please like and subscribe and hopefully you learned a little bit of tricks and uh, increased your confidence in doing basic repair Thank you so much.